The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency of Rocky Point, New York. Hi folks, Fred Goldfarrow here for our weekly video fishing report. Well, the ice may be gone, but temperatures remain mostly below normal, and wind and rough seas kept cod hopefuls at the dock again on the weekend. A couple of boats did make it to the cod grounds during the week. Captain Rob of the Captree Princess was able to get out Wednesday and Thursday with decent results. Wednesday's trip produced 40 keepers to 15 pounds, while a light crowd on Thursday accounted for nearly 30 cod. The island current, fishing out of Snug Harbor, Rhode Island for the winter, saw fares average four to seven cod apiece, with a couple of 10 fish limits to 12 pounds on Tuesday. Friday's trip saw lots of shorts, but also a few larger fish to 18 pounds were in the mix. High hook on the day had five keepers. Striped bass season on the Hudson River kicks off this Monday, March 16th, with a one fish bag and 18 inch minimum size limit in place. And the first Western Sound striper should be history over the course of the next week or two. While striped bass season in the Marine District doesn't open until April 15th, they can be targeted for catch and release during the closed season. The biggest news, however, concerning striped bass is that size and bag limits for the 2015 season have finally been set. They are one fish at 28 inches or larger for all anglers, including party and charter boats. The comment period on the DEC's proposal to expand flounder season from March 1st to December 31st ends this Tuesday, March 17th, so no decision can be made until at least then. Last season's regulations of April 1st to May 30th, with a two-fish bag and 12-inch size limit, remain in effect pending any changes. If the weather short-circuits your plans for a card dinner, and you're not willing to travel for stripers, you might want to focus on some of our local lakes and ponds, which are due to receive their first allotments of stock trout over the course of the next week or two. Among the many 8 to 9 inch rainbows slated for stocking are a nice mix of 2 year old brown trout ranging from 12 to 15 inches. Be sure your freshwater license is up to date before hitting the water or it could turn into a costly outing. For a complete stocking list, see the DEC website. The last show of the winter, the Saltwater Expo, kicks off this Friday and runs through the weekend at the Garden State Exhibition Center in Somerset, New Jersey. This is a purely saltwater show and worth the trip for those whose focus is solely on the salt. Closer to home, the Patch Oak Flea Market will be camped at St. Joseph's College this Sunday, March 22nd, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Crazy Alberto and I will be hosting a free seminar from 10 a.m. to noon, and there should be plenty of good deals on tackle to help you get ready for the season. Until next week, I'm Fred Golifaro wishing you good health and good fishing in 2015. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.